you all for being here today. My name is Michelle Wetland, and while most of you may know me as the wife of a man who got to play one of our nation's greatest pastimes in the game of baseball, truly what I am is an American. My father served in the military, and I went with him across our globe. I have walked the graveyards in Europe from World War II. I have gotten out of a subway and with my own eyes held my mother's hand and seen the American flag burn before my eyes. And I have been required to walk in silence so that my life would be spared. I come from a family of great Americans where my grandfather's flag that laid across his casket after his 21 gun salute and his military flyby from the four wars that he served in sits in the front room of my home. I have a grandmother who her brother stormed the beaches of Normandy on D-Day and she did all that she could to be a nurse in World War II and served right here in America where she met that amazing grandfather of mine. I have truly understood for my entire life that our freedoms are not free. And while alongside my husband in our nation's capital, I was able to visit some of the most prominent landmarks of our nation's history. I have stood on the grounds of Jamestown where 241 brave individuals came and stayed on boats so small that they may not even survive a strong stormy day on a Texas lake where the Godspeed and the Susan Constant and the Discovery took brave individuals as they went forward to create a new life in a new land, where only 60 survived, where 60 packed up all the strength that they could and left to exit the James River. But where in that moment, God in his sovereignty allowed 500 individuals who had been braving the Atlantic for more than two months to pull up in the James River and supply the manpower and the survival skills that we needed so that each of us could be here today. I have stood in Boston on the Freedom Trail. I have sat where Isaiah Thomas had the underground printing press and where John F. Kennedy sat to ponder the thoughts and the decisions over our nation. I have visited the Capitol and I have seen on the rotunda wall where Pocahontas is being baptized. I have been able to walk the grounds of our nation's capital where at the beginning of our National Mall sits the Capitol and from the end of the Abraham Lincoln Memorial in the exact spot where Martin Luther King delivered his I have a dream and as you move forward you can see the Washington Monument and you remember the icy Potomac that he was required to cross and as you visit the grounds of Mount Vernon and you see where Martha his widowed wife and where George Washington adopted the four children that would become his own, that he was truly the father of our nation and a father to each of us today that took the sacrifices and the requirements so that we can stand here today. I believe in the footprint of of my footprint almost falling off the bench. I believe in the footprint of our forefathers. And I see, as do each of us, when our eyes are wide open, how God's sovereign hand has been on our nation. And when we stand at that spot, at the foothills of the Abraham Lincoln Memorial, and we look forward across the mall, and we look to the left past the Vietnam Memorial to the Washington Monument, and we look to the right across the Korean War Memorial to the Jefferson Memorial. We are able to see clearly that our National Mall is in the footprint of a cross. We are here today not to create a dream that has not yet been seen. 
we are here today to protect a dream. A dream that has hundreds of years of sacrifice behind it. A dream, yes. We gather together today because we are a people that believes in our three branches of government and due process. We believe in the Constitution and the rights that are guaranteed by it. Yeah. And what I know, what I know is that we are not forced individuals who are demanded by one leader, but we are individuals who ask one another to rise up as great leaders and live in the design of freedom. <laughs> I understand that there is an assault on values in America and that our government is wanting to do something but prohibiting the free exercise that is guaranteed by the First Amendment is not the exercise that we want to see happen. I thank each of you for being here today and for doing all that you can and trusting God with the results. It has truly been the footprint and the fingerprint of every great American that has gone before us. They have done all that they can. And today, there is no icy Potomac to cross. The red coats are not coming, but there is an icy wave of division and a mountain of red tape to overcome. Amen. By you standing here today, you are helping to melt that icy wave and you are sending a voice that you care about your freedoms and your liberties and that the sacrifices of our forefathers will not be in vain. Thank you. <laughs>